my god, I already know, just by looking at the footage, that this is going to be such a boring video. Who in the right mind would look at, like, seven minutes of just somebody scraping at a read? So what I did at the very beginning was I took off a very thin layer of the cane, basically just of the bark, and that's equivalent to marking how long my back is going to be with a pencil. I don't want to pick up a pencil, so this saves me some time, and this way I don't have to commit to taking out a lot before I know exactly how long my back is going to be, which I want to be about the midpoint between the thread and the tip, about halfway up the reed. The longer that you make your back, the shorter your heart will become. With a shorter heart, you'll have a more resonant reed with less cushion. I recommend this for dry environments that don't have the same natural resonance as wet ones. Yeah, most people go from the top down. I go from the back up because it's just more fun. Otherwise, I make the blank and I'm just not motivated to scrape anymore, you know? Because like... Oh my god, I don't want to do the tip. Like, nobody wants to do the tip, come on. The back is so much fun. You can look at look at me digging. Like, I really dig this. Mm. Okay, that sounds not very satisfying. Now I'm basically just making an identical window on the left as I did on the right. It's very clever to have a dial meter to show how thick different areas of your tip are, but I don't have one, so I basically just scrape until scraping more would take away from the spine or the rails. So I, I totally forgot to use my plaque. I only noticed because my left rail was sort of crooked, and I was like, what is going on? But I just forgot to put the plaque in, so do that from the start, guys, as soon as you have an opening. Funny story, the video editor I'm using with um, the watermark there on the bottom promoting itself totally just like deleted half my voiceovers that I made. So I rewatched this scene and I couldn't think of anything to say. Great editing here. Okay, so it looks like I've gotten started on the heart or the, or, or, or the plateau area. Um, I, I like to use a bevel knife for this because it, it doesn't get as sharp for me. It's flat on one side and angled on the other. And basically, a dull knife helps me get a smoother, uh, shallow scrape very evenly across the plateau, which is what I want. A nice, smooth, round area, like a cushion, like a cloud. Mm, that looks very good. I didn't fast forward any of the cliffs because I thought it'd be worthwhile for more beginner people to see the individual knife strokes. Now I'm basically just checking out um, up close how much bark there is. There's some in the upper left, along the left rail. Um, it's kind of bumpy, there's some on the right, and so I'm gonna go smooth that out. I want it all to be quite round and smooth, like a dog. <clears throat> Here's the ASMR part. It just goes... <coughs> nice sounds. There's the profile view. Basically, when you look at the side of the reed, you should be able to see a smooth line from the tip down to the thread. And that way you know the spine hasn't been interrupted. So my last video actually got demonetized before I even uploaded it for like the 30 seconds of Prokofiev 1 that I used. Starting on the second side, I'm going to do the exact same thing as the first side. Make one light scrape to see how long I want my back to be. That one went a little too far. I'm comparing across the sides. Symmetry across the two halves of one blade is not so important, but the golden rule of reed making What you do to one side, do to the other
Now that I'm more comfortable with where to position my knife and how long I want to make the back, I just, I just really dig in. And I know some people would go crazy to see that I'm leaving such an ugly transition between the heart and the back. Don't freak out too much, it works. Just trust me on this one. Hope you're having a great time. And Looks like I've started on the left window now. I'm gonna turn off sound to let the ASMR flow. Because I enjoy it, I do the back before I do the tip. Should really do it the other way around though. I'm about to show you a different knife technique twice, where you basically push up the cane in individual strokes, just like that. I don't do that so much because you tend to get lines. I prefer to make single long strokes that pull up and curl the cane, just like this. But sometimes I get lines anyways that I have to clean off, so... don't think the other knife technique is bad just because I don't use it. I know a lot of people who use it better than I can do this. Maybe at best know both. God, the transitions are even uglier on this side. Did you hear that? I just made a huge sign in the original audio. Just taking off the bark. Um, trying not to go too deep because you can't put more cane on. You can always take more off, but you can't put more on. You can't more on. As you can see, I switched back to the beveled knife to finish up this plateau area. I forgot to mention the bevel knife actually has a nicer sound when it's scraping against bark. Just gonna... That's what you came here for, eh? The ASMR. Or should I say, that's what you came here for. Using a lamp is very important to let you see through the reed. Here you can see a thicker heart area a relatively thick tip, and still two windows with a spine and rails. Well, congratulations for making it this far, if you did. Make sure you let the reed rest overnight, and see you in part three.